All right, folks, uh, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. Today we're going to talk about this whole Huawei ban thing and why a lot of these tech reviewers just need to shut the hell up for now. Uh, I'll explain that after the intro. Let's get to that right now. I'll try to keep it short and as non-political as possible. The subject of today's rant is these tech reviewers who are all telling us what they think about Huawei. And, and then you hear stuff like, well, we really don't know what proof they have against them. Uh, really? When was the last time you got a memo from the CIA, DIA, NSA, Homeland Security, or any of the other unnamed intelligence agencies out there telling you what was really going on with the government? I mean, come on. I was in the military. They don't they don't tell you why you're doing something. They just tell you we need to do this. And so we don't know the real reasons. This could be part of the trade war thing. I'll give it that. It could also be the fact that Huawei has been caught numerous times actually stealing. If you check the description below and please do that, you will find a link to Theo Joe's uh, site, actually to the video he did on Huawei, and this is all the times they've actually got caught with their hands physically in the cookie jar, stealing corporate secrets. They do work for the Chinese government, they're funded by the Chinese government, they have to do everything the Chinese government tells them to, or their CEO would suddenly have a heart attack and they'd have a new one next week. Oh, that's just how it works. Make no mistake about it, folks. China is a communist country. They're the enemy. Just like Russia is still the enemy. They might not be communist, but by God, they're still, you know, doing what they can to yeah, screw things up in the world uh, and have things go their way. Uh, it's how things work. Socialists, liberals, Democrats, all the same name. They're all commies. Uh, now, so the bottom line here is the tech reviewers. I don't know how many of you guys have uh, served in the military, but if you haven't, you just don't know. They, they don't tell you shit. It's not how it works. You have to accept that they have some kind of intelligence somewhere leading them to certain conclusions. They're not going to tell you how they got it. And neither on this Huawei thing are they going to tell you how they've obtained information. Obviously, uh, perhaps they have. Perhaps this is just a... Uh, Part of the trade war thing and uh, it'll all blow over and while we will continue to plug on as the number two possibly becoming the number one phone maker in the world and uh that's just the way it's going to be so the tech reviewers just need to stfu stop and, and obviously Huawei has a way out of this Yes, they can't make the Kirin chip anymore because our ARM cut them off. You know, they can't use new technology from ARM, new Cortexes, new cores. Uh, they can't. And it wouldn't be the first time they just did something even though they're not supposed to. Uh, on the other hand, they can go the Apple route. Create their own OS they update their own store that they update and their own chips I mean they're a multi-billion dollar corporation why wouldn't they I mean why not become the other non-android operating system I mean they're already charging Apple prices you might as well go for Apple type technology you use all them employees you got 
So that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, make sure you check out the links in the description below. And uh, if you found this informative, useful, or even didn't find it that way, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, we don't care. Any kind of interaction is good. Uh, also, leave some feedback in the description, you know, the comments below. And maybe consider subscribing and clicking on that little bell, and that way you'll get notifications. And then you'll know we put out a new video. Nobody's going to make you watch it. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one.